Hey everybody, this is Mark with Apple Tech One Toy, and in this video, we are going to be showing you how to add glyph icons to your website. If you're unfamiliar with these, these are just basically simple little black and white images that add a little bit of something extra to your buttons or text or pretty much anything on your website. I'm a big fan of these, and I think they look really great. And at first, I wasn't super sure on how to implement these because they do recognize if you're using something with Dreamweaver, they do recognize the text and everything works out really well, but they don't show up. Most of them don't, but I think I found a really simple way of not having to rearrange your font system. And in this video, we're going to be showing you how to implement glyphicons, glyph icons, whatever they're called. We're going to show you how to implement them into your website. So let's go ahead and get started. For this, I'm going to be using Adobe's Dreamweaver. It kind of works in anything, but I'm a huge fan of the auto suggestions on here. So that's what we're going to be using for this. So let's just go ahead and implement a basic, simple button. And um, yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Let's do a button right there. We'll just call it click me. And we'll close off that button. You can see we have a button up here in the corner. Maybe we'll go ahead and center it and pull that down a little bit over to the side. Maybe give it a little bit of a break from the top. Whatever you want to do, you can really trick this out however you want. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for glyphicons. So there's a couple of ways we can do this. We can actually nest it inside of the button text and code itself. So it can be inside of the button or we can stick it outside and do whatever we want with it. Um, I want to stick it in the inside of the button. So that's what we're going to be doing. So what we have to do is just go ahead and do our angle bracket. We're going to type in span and then class and glyphicon. And then this is the next part of the text where we're going to want to go head on over to the website that I have linked below. It is um, a list of all of the different glyphicons implemented within the thing that we're going to be doing next. It's getbootstrap.com slash components. It's a whole list of everything we could ever want. So that's that. You can check out pretty much anything. So we're going to head back over to Dreamweaver and we're going to type glyphicon yet again and then a dash and that is what you're going to want to enter in for your text so i'm just going to just say download and that is it for our um button now the next stuff is kind of whatever you want but generic is just you're just going to say aria and then hidden and then that is just going to be equal to true and close that off close off the span and then it looks like that should kind of be it for our um coding for inside the button but as you can see nothing happens at all but fear not because we are going to go ahead and fix that right here we're going to go into the head tag and we're going to want to go ahead and link in something kind of like how you would link your cascading style CSS file. We're gonna go ahead and link. And we're just gonna do an href. And now you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and paste in the URL in the description. And this is actually, it is a cascading style sheet, but it's on a website. It's on that right there. And then we're just gonna do REL and then style sheet. And that is about it. And if we go right here, you can now see that it updated with the button right here. Click me, maybe we can add a space to give it a little bit more breathing room. And there you go, we have now implemented a Glyphicon into your button. And again, you can do this on pretty much anything and anywhere. Hopefully this helped you guys out. If you liked it, feel free to leave a like and hit that subscribe button for more coding videos like this. This is Mark with iApple Tech One Tweet, and I will see you in the next one.